Good morning, PTG fans, friends, foes, enemies. We are so excited. Lucky Six is jumping up and down because it's not just me, Hyper G, and Lucky Sixes. It is, we are joined by PTG Gobbo. The Gobbo is here. What a day. The Gobbo. This is a momentous day. Gobbo has landed. <laughs> Gobbo has landed. Welcome, Mr. Gobbo. Now, you are becoming part of PTG, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah how really exciting excited. is this? Yeah, I mean, this has been teased for a number of weeks by oh, someone who, who I'm so keep happy. his mouth shut. I'm so happy we're finally... I couldn't, I couldn't allow it anymore. Oh. <laughs> Absolutely. You, you, we we uh, were set for September, but I knew I couldn't keep my mouth shut. <laughs> no, we had to bring it forward just because otherwise... <laughs> It would have just broken well, on the on the internet anyway. Um, so yeah, welcome to Proxy Table Gaming, Mr. Gobbo. Um, so your your specialist sub subject is obviously the painting modeling side of things, but we're going to get into that later on, no doubt. Um, but um, yeah, this sort of came about a few months ago, didn't it? We sort of uh, well, we've known you for a number of years now, ever since our <coughs> one, one, in fact, yeah. um, back in two thousand and seventeen. Yeah, yeah, crazy. Um, but uh, over the last few months, we've uh, decided to go in a different direction, joining you into the PTG channel. And we're yeah, very glad cool. to have you, I have to say. Really excited. Um, it's going to be good, yeah. Loads hmm. of opportunities. Yeah. Yeah, and for massively. people watching this video as well, by the way, tech, right? Um, in the big screen <laughs> in the middle, you will see loads oh, yeah. of, loads of uh, his previous works and some upcoming videos as well spo like spoilers for that because I couldn't help but put a spoiler in anyway so I'll put, so mm. there's um, some of these will be videos so like for example the uh, the board um, we won't say what it's for but you'll see how that yeah. comes about um, and loads yeah. of cool models as well and just some of the detail in these incredible my man Absolutely. So. And then this video, this intro video to Peter D. Gobbo, isn't necessarily talking about the pictures that you can see on your screen directly, because they're no. going to be involved in other videos. They're just on there to show how awesome the Gobbo is. This is just random. Um, oh, um, and we will refer to them on, on occasion, but uh, mainly the topic is all about PTG Gobbo and who you are. And what better place to start than with that question? So, Mr. Gobbo, who are you? So I have met the PTG guys at Bristol Art of War 1, which was three years ago, and mm -hmm. um, part of a, a team called the Goblins Grotto, which are a group of, we used to be 8th edition uh, Warhammer players, um, that then transferred into 9th, and we decided to go to a tournament, and it was our first tournament since playing 40k when we were 17. Um, and instantly mashed with the PTG guys, instantly mashed with all the Bristol guys and we've been coming back every year and which is great and for myself I enjoy the hobby aspect more than the gaming aspect so I like the the army design with the contemplation of what to build how to make things different what cool concept can I come up with or help other people come up with with their own armies and just to really celebrate the fact that it's not just the tournament play that we're in this hobby for. We're in this hobby also, again, for hobbying. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm going to just follow up with a very risky question because I don't know the answer to it. Um, okay. That's always risky when you ask something like this. I know for a fact that you have won Best Painted at at least one Art of War. Mm. Have you won more than one? Best Twice, painted? Yeah. Twice, <laughs> good. Oh, yeah. phew, phew. <laughs> I, I'm, I, was, I was certain it was more than one, but I was like, you know, I've got to get this out. Yeah, cool. Won a couple of swords, which is, um, yeah, really cool. <laughs> um, I'm really, really honoured to, to have my work um, looked at in that way and, and other people actually vote for it. It was, it was really humbling. Um, yeah. But it's also a big incentive for me to help other people to do that as well and really encourage the hobby and really encourage people to, not just to see tournaments as a I've got to get as many 20 and you know, as I can but actually what can I do to help develop the hobby yeah absolutely that's really cool yeah because I mean 
your your armies when they're put together as a full army are phenomenal. They really are. I mean that that kind of goes without saying because otherwise you know what are you doing here? Um, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, no, it really is a sight to behold, and the pictures that we're seeing even today are a testament to how good you are. I don't want to make you feel too good about yourself. Not at this <laughs> early stage. Can't build him up too much, can we? Lucky sixes. No, that's it. But you are. I mean, you're doing you're doing this. You're taking commissions and things like that, and that's. You're doing this full time, right? Um, it's part time at the moment. So again, doing little bit of commissions here and there, um, painting models or projects for eBay maybe, um, and just trying to see what I can do. I've, I've just done a, a Blood Bowl um, human team, which is going to be a spoiler again coming up soon. Um, mm. But it's just trying out different things, and I really enjoy people enjoying models. So again, if I can create something that's really cool and then see their expression when they get it, I think that's brilliant. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's all about the uh, the first impression. It's just the mm. wow factor, isn't it? Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah, I mean, you've already touched upon it there. Um, you are not wholly ninth age, are you, in your hobby? No. You will literally paint any model, any terrain, anything. You are... Your yeah. skills are so widespread. Um, even movement trays you've mentioned um, before as yeah. well. Yeah, uh, uh, again, it's, it's all part of the hobby. So again, yeah. mm. the only thing I haven't dabbled in is like model planes or anything like that, but who knows? <laughs> <laughs> well, exactly. Who knows where the hobby is going? Um, so yeah, one of the main things in this intro is to say that you are available for commission, aren't you? And uh, very reasonable in your price discussion i should say yeah. as well <laughs> you know very competitive obviously because you are top notch yeah. um com competitive is, is probably the uh, exactly. the right That's words it. for it right. yeah definitely so i mean uh, lucky sixes you got the bigger list on how to get in touch with ptg go yes you want to talk about so that now, from that? yeah from this moment on uh in every description of the video uh you there will be uh, not only uh, places to get in touch with him uh, for the commissions, but also in touch with myself and Hyper-G on the forums. Um, there are also descriptions to any, uh, any and all music and images we use. Um, so mm. if you're interested in getting uh, music from people uh, or images from people, uh, one of the, which is one of the Grotto lads who t <laughs> doesn't actually know he's 100% part of it yet. Um, so... Um, yeah. Yeah, uh, mm -hmm. ways to get in touch with those sort of people. But yeah, uh, if you need any commissions, um, obviously you can speak to us, but there are direct links uh, to the Gobbo in the descriptions. Um, mm. As always as well, with, with all the YouTube uh, pages and stuff, uh, you can go to our Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, um, via the uh, banner on the YouTube as well. So there's direct links there. So yeah. hey, we're, yeah. all, we're connected. Hey, We're all connected. Getting connected, yeah, absolutely. And of course, um, you know, easier way of being connected with us is to make sure you subscribe to the channel and yeah. hit the notification button. So you will get immediate updates of all the new things that are coming out. Yeah, and, and that is probably our next direction, really. Is that... new things, there are really going to be so many new videos. Yeah, loads. We've got, I mean... We'll, we'll still do yeah, the, like, like, like always, we're still going to do the normal um, stuff. He's coming back now. He's up. <laughs> um, but yes. uh, we're also going to be adding in the, uh, at least two a week. Um, but this is, you know, the introduction wow. to the next two weeks are just going to be filled with Gobbo. You will you will be filled. Won't. Yeah, filled. Um, so there, you, <laughs> well, you won't get enough over the next two weeks. And then from then on, we're going to have... Yeah. Uh, so what sorts of videos are we going to expect, Mr. Gobbo? So anything from base tutorials through to conversions, through to how to make movement trays, um, critical effect markers, charge markers, um, anything for any game, really. Uh, we're yeah, doing man. unboxing videos, so we're doing um, a couple of commissions that are coming up in the future. Um, but also we want to try and do Work in Progress Wednesday, um, see what's currently being worked on as well. Um, but also, again, we want you guys to get involved. So if there's anything that you want us to see or want to see from us, um, put in the comments. We're more than happy to respond. Um, he says us. He means him. Yeah. <laughs> They're not going to want to see me do painting, are they? 
I think that could be one of the monthly competitions. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, Whoever wins, Hyper GS to paint it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But um, <laughs> I mean, with that, our, our guys, the guys, people that watch this, you guys are watching now. You're pretty good at those comments, so keep those up, especially for Gobbo's videos. Um, challenge him as well. I've already, I've already set a few challenges, um, so that we should come in his way uh, through people in the forums and stuff like that. So um, make sure you keep up the good work, guys, and keep the comments kind of flooding in. And I say, catch us on all the other different social medias as well. We're happy to happy to chat about it. So you've mentioned um, this entity briefly, PTG Gobo. What is uh, the Goblin's Grotto? Because I mean, you've mentioned a group of lads. I mean, you, a little bit of an expansion on that, maybe. I don't know. If yeah, much so more to say. The, the Goblin's Grotto itself it started out at our local games club, um, but when I bought my own house, we actually decided to before we had a second child. Anyway, before we actually decided to make a gaming room um, and actually call it the Goblin's Grotto. Um, yeah. which is quite fun. Um, so we've got a tutorial coming up about how to make the board, how to make an actual room and try and make it look really cool. And it's, it's yeah. this nice homage <clears throat> to the, the hobby, really. Awesome. How many uh, Grotto Boys are there? Or is it a bit of a big club, hard to pinpoint? So it, it used to be uh, about 25 of us, um, all Ooh. playing 8th edition fantasy. Yeah. Um, when things moved on from that um, there's about eight of us now okay so, um, cool because sort of i know I, I played against at least two of them not you um i played simon stroke luke uh, and uh well that's two chris, right there chris right. i think yeah exactly <laughs> yeah. and chris uh, lucky six has played against uh, simon before neither of us have played against you though ptg gobbo which is still to come isn't it Where it's an easy win <laughs> <laughs> for you have you seen my form lately <laughs> yeah awesome so yeah we'll, we'll definitely bring you in more on the battlefield as well um, in the coming months mm, and can hopefully get some guy some games down from the gobber guys yeah um, yeah man. Good. Mm. so you, you say um you played eighth edition of fantasy um it, does it go any further back than that or was that the <laughs> beginning for you I've, I've been hobbying since I was eight. <laughs> so, nice. So, um, nice. I was, yeah, I got given talisman by my grandfather when I was eight years old, okay. um, which is awesome. And I wish I still had it. It was a fantastic game. Mm. Um, but straight away from there, got into Games Workshop, multiple Space Marine armies, multiple mm. um, Orc and Goblin armies. Um, and I helped out and worked a little bit in my games workshop when I was at university. And they helped okay. teach me paint, oh, which was quite nice. fun. Yeah, that's um, really cool. And then I think my addiction started there. Really. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a collector of ideas. I like creating new armies. Um, yeah. Whether they move on to or stay with me is, is besides the point. But. Um, mm -hmm. I like the idea of the creation side of it, and I find it really relaxing. Oh, good, good. Well, yeah. I mean, I mean, you, someone like yourself who does so much painting, modding, modeling, hobbying must enjoy it because you know mm. you don't get to that level of skill without enjoying it. I, I would say, anyway. I mean, I I don't doubt that I am so bad at it because I don't put the time in. I don't enjoy it. And if I did put the time in and did enjoy it, I'd, I'd get better. But yeah, um, definitely. Um, yeah. Again, it's, it's practice and repetition, but also, again, mm. you have to have a willingness to learn. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I think anyone can paint. Anyone can do it. And it doesn't matter yeah. if it's award winning, <laughs> as long as you're proud of what you achieve and yes. you enjoy the that's process. True. That is massively that's, that's, true. That's the big thing for me. Mm. Yeah. So, again, yeah. when we're going to tournaments in the, in the future, I'll be there, hopefully, taking photos, talking to people about their armies. And. Yeah finding out the history of why they wanted to create this and mm. that aspect of the hobby really appeals to me awesome. yeah and i think cool. um i think really on that is probably where you'll see a lot of the videos coming from so as well as all these different types and uh, things that you've said essentially you're going to get showcases of what you've done um in the past tutorials as well so you will teach 
teach the world of and anyone and if you're if you're looking at that and you want some different ideas those tutorials are really good so we've got the unboxings and things but also i think from the channel point of view i think we're gonna look to really start branching into the hobby aspect a little bit more than we have i think historically we've been yes um bat reps tacticas and reviews and tournament reviews and things like that but uh, and i think what i'm really excited about uh, is getting you on to do all that hobby stuff and really really sort of branch out into the into that aspect of things um as well mm. so um mm. that if you if you guys are watching this and you're you're thinking where are we going that's that's really the direct direction of everything and the reason we've got you in which is fantastic yeah. oh massively it's your enthusiasm that's <laughs> that's made this happen definitely so um, so like a goblin. <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> Right. So let's um let's take a moment here. As obviously we've got all that for the videos and the channels, but let's big you up. Let's just give you a chance to big yourself up. So you you are you are taking commissions, right? Yeah. Yes. Talk to us about the commissions and stuff you've done <laughs> and and what you're. So I've done work. anything from basing commissions all the way through to um, full blown army creation, assembling, design. Um, done game boards so display boards as well all the way up to um i've done uh, gaming tables so I made gaming tables made gaming boards for people um even terrain and we've kitted out entire boards specifically for a certain purpose so for example my own board was we wanted a almost like a, a red rocks sort of wild west theme because i had at the time i had my beast men which were uh, native indian and it fit really well. So again, we had all the, the really red earth and stuff like that, and we created it all. Um, but we, we'd love to try anything. Again, I, I like putting my hand to anything. And if it's 40K terrain, if it's guild ball terrain, um, anything at all is, is quite handy. Um, something that some of the other Gotter guys are really into is Infinity as well. Um, so again, the Infinity terrain boards um, are, are really nice, some of the professional ones, and I'd love to get my teeth into something like that. Awesome. Awesome. Mm, definitely. I mean, we're seeing some of the pictures on, on the screen of your previous work. I mean, they are phenomenal. They really are. Um, I don't know what's currently on there at the moment. So uh, we've got some sixes. Yeah, uh, some Talk us through some. Tusk, tuskers as well. Yeah, because uh, for, for people watching, they can't see any of this. So <laughs> We can't um, see the pictures. So, <laughs> so this is Hypergee in his birthday suit. Oh, yes. Uh, well, this... <laughs> who doesn't want to see that? <laughs> uh, but yeah, so... We, um, Changing them up and stuff. So at the minute, we're through here at some beastmen with tuskers. That's cool. Which I were chariots, know. right? Yeah, that was the um, beast herd's army that was uh, chariot based. Hmm. Um, so again, the idea for the army was to be have a roaming beast herd that goes around the plains and captures things and does things. So not necessarily bad beastmen, but yeah. nomadic beastmen. So big um, beasts of burden. Which was the Gortak, I think I used as a um, a big beastie with ungles on it. Your but heart, it was, it was must your heart must absolutely break every time you have to say goodbye to a commission. Because I mean, you know, no. handing those models back. But seeing the expression on their faces and seeing other people yeah. enjoying those models and mm. actually getting value for money and actually thinking, wow, I've got something that's an individual, and it's individual to me. They can then go on and play with that. I think it's brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, not to give anything away too much, but uh, you might have given me a little taste of that feeling yes. as a little yeah. bit of a greeting, but we won't go into that anymore because that'll come up later this week yeah. um, or, or in the next couple of weeks at least, I think. Um, very much looking forward to revealing that because uh, mm -hmm. I get all tingling excited. <laughs> 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 I, uh, I'm also just going to throw in I, I know that the main topic is PTG Gobbo but I just want to say a massive thank you to Lucky Sixes for dragging us into this technical revolution Absolutely. Uh, this is a new look for us oh, uh, start of much more to come We're, I'm very excited yeah but Lucky Sixes has been working really hard behind the scenes to get this uh, going um, I want to say personally thank you for that Lucky Sixes doing a great job I'll give um, them tenner later <laughs> It's only a five away, what are you talking about, yeah. It's not one of, it's not one of uh, Gobbo's commissions, you know. Um, <laughs> awesome, cool. Um, I do have uh, one further question for you, at least. I mean, Lucky Sixes may have more and you may want to talk more about other things. But what is your 
current personal army, if you still um, have one. My current army is technically uh, Kingdom of Equitain. Um, mm-hmm. However, <laughs> however, they're all squigs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Some people who know you will already know that, but I think yeah. that is amazing. It's a it's yeah. a concept um, that you really do need to see to believe. Um, it's fun because, and, it, and it's uh, different. Yeah. And, and, and these are the Squiglonians, aren't they? Yeah, Squiglonians. Yeah, yeah. So they're actually made to look like Bretonians. So they're all night goblins, effectively. In um, fact, um, were they? They would have been on the uh, live stream at Art of War Three, wouldn't they? On yes. Table One. Yeah, first so, battle, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The the channel may have actually already seen them. So check that video out if you weren't looking uh, in enough detail, because uh, they are well worth having a look. In fact, yeah, sorry, Dan, but it was a rather good result yeah. for a certain someone, wasn't it? Table one. Table one. <laughs> yeah. First time on table one. And last time on table one. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, um, I then came up against Jeff Keeling next one and then got 20. Ah, <laughs> so. uh, well, I think uh, Jeff had a good tour, if I'm not wrong. He, he so, had a very uh, good tournament, yeah. yeah. So actually, let's just, just recap on something while the three of us stood together. I had a victory on table one, Art of War two. Ugh. You had a victory, Gobbo, Art of War three. Lucky sixes. I seem to think you were on table one at Black Country Brawl two. How did yes. that? How did that go? I got a point. <laughs> I, I smashed that point these, as well. I, I have to grab point. these small things, Gobbo. I really do. These small <laughs> things that I have over Lucky sixes. I have to grab them with two hands. Awesome. <laughs> So, I mean, are you sticking with um, Equitain Squiglonians for a little while, do you think, in terms of on the table, or are you... Uh... I think so. I, I really enjoyed the army, and um, it's quite a, a personal thing to my heart. I, I love I love goblins, probably. <laughs> um, and I think having a, an army that is fun to play um, is really important. So rather than just, yes, it looks good, yes, it works, performs very well on the board. But if it's not fun to play, why are you there? Yeah, um, absolutely. Why are you there, Lucky Sixes? Why? Oh, I, I have I have loads of fun smashing you every time. <laughs> <laughs> Not at a tournament. Um, yeah, cool. <laughs> Do you have any questions for Gobbo, Lucky Sixes? No, mate. Other than I just want to say I'm really, really excited to have you on, um, and I'm, I'm really, really looking forward to that. I mean, I've I've seen some of the stuff coming up, and I'm really excited to to get it out there and, and have everyone else see it so you guys look forward to the next couple of weeks especially um, but then even after that we've got some good stuff coming in so I'm very Bom- excited bombard to bombard the comments with loads of questions you have for Gobbo things you want him to show you I mean, you can wait until you start seeing what he's going to send out anyway or you can literally hit us right now with mm-hmm. the comments be anything. because uh, be... we will yeah go on it can be conversion ideas it can be painting ideas um, terrain ideas, how do you build a board, any, anything at all. And we're, we're yeah. more than happy to try the concept and then try and put it into a video for you. Mm, absolutely. Great. All right. So I think we'll probably uh, wrap things up there. For this That's a good place. That's a good place Gobo. to stop it. Mm, I think so. So, yeah, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel um, now that we are another PTG member on board. And uh, this is a momentous board. occasion because. Uh, you, you've uh, you've already appeared more times than PTG Statra, so in, in person, you're going to need a theme tune now. That's the only thing <laughs> yes, he's got. On yeah, <laughs> yeah that is right. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Awesome, cool. So yeah, hit those comments hard. I hope you're really going to enjoy all the videos. That yeah, in and a few weeks. I say check us out, especially on Twitter and Instagram, because you will be as well as all the normal stuff that we have, especially on Instagram. Uh, there is going to be so many pictures of upcoming work, as you say, work in progress Wednesdays, and so much stuff. So uh, yeah. check us out, boys and girls. Awesome, brilliant, great. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for um, coming to this video. It is a momentous occasion for PTG, and we will see you for a whole load of stuff over the next couple of weeks. See you later. Bye bye. Bye.